Hi there. Larry Graves here. Now, this is the confusion of having two channels. On my Canadian Stud Muffin channel, I did a video which I could have done on this channel. I opened up uh, some new CDs that I bought. So if you are not familiar with my other channel, check it out. It's uh, almost a 20 minute video and it's kind of asmr -y, I guess, because some people find my voice soothing. So on this channel, I thought I would just show you some of my older CDs like I did, I've did. i done in the past on my Canadian Stud Muffin channel. See how confusing it gets. And I just uh, decided to talk about certain different bands. Let's start with Cream. Now this is a uh, double CD of the greatest hits. That's really all I need. I'm not a huge fan of Cream. I much prefer uh, Eric Clapton's work in his solo career and also with Blind Faith, the one album they did together with uh, Steve Winwood and Ginger Baker. But this is a very good double CD. The only thing is with this CD, it's already broken. Some of these uh, double CDs are very uh, breakable. So, comes with a nice little booklet. Some excellent pictures, of course. And I do like uh, the songs by Cream, but I will, but I really like. <laughs> this is so broken, but I really like are. In fact, it's so broken I don't even know where the other CD is. I might have to actually buy this again at some point. Uh, because I do like the studio versions, the, uh, the studio songs that you do, but I love their live material, especially their uh, their very first live album, Cream Live, or Live Cream, I guess it was called. And it bas I think it actually contains most of their most of their studio tracks anyway. If you can read that. And Captain Beefheart, now he recorded this album whenever he recorded it, and he couldn't release it because of uh, some label issues with between Frank Zappa and was it Discreet Records or I don't know the whole story, I'd have to Google it again. But this is the original version of Bat Chain Puller. That's cool. There's his pull. The only thing that I find disappointing about this is the cover. You think they, they could have uh, used one of Captain Beefheart's very cool paintings. Now, the re-recorded Bat Chain Puller I actually prefer more than this, although I will say the Harry Irene that's on this CD I like better of the two, although I love both songs. It comes with an excellent booklet. Lots of reading materials. Goes on and on and on. Four, five, five pages. Now this guy, he's the drummer for a lot of the Captain Beefheart uh, albums, John French, 
and he's a Facebook friend, and he's actually commented on uh, two or three of my posts. So that's that's very cool. I don't know if that's uh, called parchment paper, I believe. It's cool. band members, just excellent mu musicianship. And uh, as with most Captain Beefheart fans, the first time you hear them, you might not like the music. It takes a few listens to, to really appreciate him. A Canadian band. I bet you didn't know we had Canadian rock bands. Uh, absolutely one of my favorite Canadian rock bands. This is one of their albums, the Guess Who Rockin'. They're may, you know, they had a lot of uh, big hits in the States. Uh, American Woman, No Time, uh, Share the Land. And other ones I can't remember at the moment, but I love this one. And So Long Band of Time, which was released around the same time. And Burden Cummings, make sure that's him. Burden Cummings, one of my absolute favorite male singers. And they made really, really excellent albums. They're, they're known mainly as a singles band, but I give them high marks for their albums. This is, there, there's probably a newer edition of this, but this came out uh, quite a few years ago uh, with added songs on it from the original album. I don't know if that's my CD's just dirty, or if that's, if it's supposed to look dirty. <laughs> so you open it up, and the, and the CD falls out. Yes, some of these, I think this one's probably close to 15 years old or more. And the little spindle thing's broken, that's why it fell out. But Live reads. John and Twistle. Somebody named Pete Townsend. Crazy Keith Moon. Sex symbol, Roger Daltrey. He's a lot like me. I don't want to keep moon. And... And this sounds excellent. I don't... I don't think I'd ever buy this again. I'm, I'm very happy with the sound and the added uh, songs. Oh, oh, uh, I think they do all of uh, the Tommy album on this. Another Guess Who album, the other one I was talking about, So Long Banna so Ban Time. Uh, Burden Cummings is from Winnipeg, Manitoba, where I lived when I was a little boy. There's the RCA label. So 
there's the cover, so long banner time, and the back is Hello My Chevrolet Home, if I'm pronouncing that properly. More reading, there's always lots of reading material in a lot of these CDs. And the gatefold, and I believe it's Burden Cummings that talks about each of the songs. And the original gatefold. These eyes. That was the other big hit of theirs I was trying to think of earlier. Now this. No, it's not John Lennon Plastic Ono Band. It's Yoko Ono Fooled You. This is her first uh, solo album after the experimental ones with John. The only track on this that I've gotten into, which I've always loved by the way, is why, which I believe has Eric. Is Eric Clapton on that one? I'm not sure. Maybe not, no. Is he? Maybe I can look it up on the credits. And at the end of this video is my latest video on my Canadian Step Up channel where I'm opening up some new CDs that I bought. And it's even uh, got an addition number, 21,171. And one more. Now, I bought quite a few of the Paul McCartney uh, special edition box sets. And the one I didn't buy, I believe this was the first one he released, was for Band on the Run. I might get it someday, but I'm, I'm happy with this 2CD edition for now. Three. It's been a while since I've looked at this. I believe one has uh, yeah, a bo the bonus film. The original album remastered. And this CD has a lot of uh, bonus material. And I believe uh, Helen Wheels is on the bonus because it wasn't originally part of the uh, original album. And once again, it comes with a booklet that is part of the CD. Some more pictures.
And the bonus tracks, Hell on Wheels, Country Dreamer, Bluebird from One Hand Clapping, which is on the uh, DVD I get with us, and other live tracks. 1985 uh, is one of the live versions that he does, and it is superb. I think Paul's a little baked there. And there's a quite a long write-up to read, and more pictures. And that's it. Just wanted to show you a few of my CDs. I hope you enjoyed the video, and make sure you check out my latest video on my Canadian Stuff Often channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And if you are in the southern region, Florida or whatever, in the path of Hurricane Irma, please stay safe and my thoughts and prayers go to you and yours. Have a great day. Bye-bye.